friends, it's Ashley from Babbage Homesteads. As you can see, we did revamp the channel and are turning it into Babbage Homesteads instead of just my name. I thought it was more applicable to where I want to take this channel, so I hope that didn't confuse any of y'all. But today we are going to be canning bone broth. I just made all of this bone broth. Um, I had roasted a really large turkey and then made turkey stock slash bone broth with the carcass and all the trimmings. So I went ahead and did that off camera and this is how much I got. I got seven quarts and almost a full half gallon. This I'm gonna pop into my fridge to be used immediately within the next week or so. And the rest we are going to pressure can today. This will be my first time pressure canning without things heated up. So we have room temperature bone broth in room temperature jars and lids and we will be adding room temperature water to the canner and just bringing it all up to boil up to pressure at one time. So we'll see how this goes. I'm really looking forward to it. As you can see, I got a lot of bone broth, which I'm so excited about. I just can't wait to can it and put it in my pantry for future use. So let's go ahead and get started. As you can see, I filled all the jars up already. They have one inch or so head space and I made sure I had all my lids and everything. So we're going to go ahead and wipe the rims of the jars and then um, we're going to go put the lids on and get the canner going. And I'm just going to pop this in the fridge to be used here in the next week or so. Doesn't this just look delicious? So like I said, I'm just going to be wiping down the rims with some white vinegar and then putting on the flats and the rings fingertip tight. I already have the headspace checked and debubbled and everything. So all we have to do is get these lids on and these jars ready to go. And then I'll bring over my pressure canner and we'll fill it up with water. And then we will put the jars in the pressure canner and put the lid on and we'll be ready to go. I'm going to be following my recipe from my Presto manual. I'm following the chicken stock recipe. It says to process at 11 pounds of pressure for 25 minutes for quarts. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. The pressure canner does fit exactly seven quarts, so we should be good to go. After letting it vent for 10 minutes, I went ahead and put my weight on and then let it come to pressure and then started my timer once it was at pressure. Once the time was done, I made sure to remove my pressure canner away from the heat and let it sit until it completely depressurized and then went ahead and took the lid off and took the jars out. Everything is super hot at this point obviously, so making sure to use my jar lifter so I don't get burnt or anything. But they look fantastic. And about 24 hours later, I got to take the rings off and check the seals and every single one of them successfully sealed, which I'm so incredibly happy about. And I'm just giving the jars a good wipe just because they do have a little bit of the fat from the bone broth siphoning off. So the jars are just a little slippery. So I went ahead and wiped that off and then I went ahead and labeled them with the date and what it is and put them on my pantry. And it is as simple as that. Make sure you don't let the bones from your turkey this Thanksgiving go to waste. Go ahead and make some bone broth with them and if you have too much, just learn how to can and can them up and put them on your pantry and you save yourself some money and you're not letting things go to waste. Anyways, thanks so much for watching today's video. I hope you enjoy seeing me stock my pantry. See you next time.